Hi, welcome to our video. In this video, we are going to see how do we set up GST on ERP Next. The goal of the video is to show you how to automate GST rate fetching based on customer or supplier and based on items. And also in this video, we will see how do we generate GST compliant tax invoices. So the outcome of uh, this whole process will be that by means of automating the GST rate fetching, we will be able to streamline our invoicing, which will reduce manual errors, improve our efficiency and increase the productivity of our team. So let's see how do we uh, set up GST on ERP next. So the first step is to check the chart of account configurations. Uh, the goal here is to see if we have configured the chart of accounts in the right way so that we can record the accounting entries in the correct ledger or accounts. So when you set up an ERP next instance, if you have set the country as India, there will be a few settings that will happen right off the shelf. For example, in the chart of accounts, under the current liabilities, duties and taxes, you will see there will be ledgers called GST, CGST, IGST, SGST. So these are the three ledgers that we will be using for recording our GST related transactions. So we've seen how to check the chart of accounts uh, to make sure that it will be good enough to record GST transactions. Now the next step is to do certain GST settings in the ERP next instance. Let us see how do we do that. So go to your ERP next uh, accounting module and over there if you scroll down you will see GST settings under the G goods and services tax uh, sub module. So over here what we need to do is just map the CGST, SGST and IGST accounts. Right. Once we have done that, we will see this. So the reason these things are not configured because people like to have different ledgers for different tax rates. But uh, what we are going to follow is we are going to use same ledger for recording different uh, rates of GST. So we will not have different ledgers for GST 18%, GST 12%, GST 5%. We will have one ledger and we will record all the entries on one single ledger. So once we have seen uh, the GST settings, once we map the GST accounts, the next thing that we need to do is go to the item master and define the HSN code and the item tax templates. So before we do that, we need to have item tax templates defined on ERP next. Uh, so if we go to the item tax template, so right now there is no tax template defined in the system. So I'm going to define uh, a few right now. Let's say GST 12%. Over here, we need to map the ledger so for CGST, SGST and IGST. So if it's an in-state transaction, CGST and SGST is half of 12%, that is 6% each. And if it is out of state, IGST will be applicable uh, for 12%. So this is one tax, tax template. So we can define multiple tax templates over here. Uh, similarly, you can define a tax template for 5%. So let's say once we define all the tax templates over here, uh, now what we need to do is map this at the item level. So I'll go to the item master. And let's say the iPhone charger will be taxed at 12%. So I need to scroll down and in the item tax section i need to map the tax template so i'll say gst 12% and save it so 
so over here what we've done is define the tax template I'll define an HSM code I'll see if there is an HSM code for charger so there are uh, certain HSM codes that come uh, with your ERB next installation so you can search it over here and uh, define your HSM code save it so what we've done is we have made the configurations at the item master level the next step that we need to do is uh, define tax rate templates and certain tax rules in order to automate the GST rate fetching so the next thing we'll, what we'll be doing is uh, defining tax template configurations so go to our ERP next account uh, search for sales tax and charges template so these are predefined uh, these are created when you set the country as India on your ERP next account so we'll just go and check if everything is okay so this is for in-state uh, so this will be CGST and SGST 9% uh, each one more thing that I usually do over here is remove this rate from description the reason that I do this is when the rate is not 18% and 12% I don't want that rate to be mentioned on my invoice print format. So we've uh, checked the item tax template. And the next thing that we need to do in order to uh, automate the rate fetching is define tax rules. Uh, but before that, I'm going to go ahead and check if I have my GST number defined on the company master. So if I go here, Basically, you need to define that on the address master. So go to company info, create a new address. It's not there, so I'll just say uh, I need to make sure that I define the state correctly on all the address masters. I'll say this is preferred shipping and billing address. So when I save it, the GST state is auto-fetched based on the GST number so that's how we define GST number for our company similarly for our customer and supplier uh, we need to define it at the address master let's say now next we need to define tax rules so what we define on the tax rule is that this the, for a tax type sales fetch tax template in state if the billing state is Maharashtra and then we'll duplicate this and define a tax template for out of state transactions fetch out of state uh, GST tax template if billing state is anything other than Maharashtra so just leave it blank save it so over here we have successfully defined the tax templates tax rules and one last thing that we need to do is make a small change in the accounting settings so go to the accounting the masters go to account settings and deselect this flag automatically add taxes and charges for item tax template deselect this particular flag uh, the reason why i'm doing this is i don't want the system to fetch uh, taxes both from the default tax template and the item tax template so in order to avoid that conflict we need to deselect this particular flag save it So what we've done is we are done with all the tax rate configurations. Now lastly what we'll do is we'll see how can we uh, 
generate GST compliant invoices. And all right, so let's see uh, how we can generate GST compliant invoices. So go to the sales invoice module, uh, create a new sales invoice. Let's say the customer is Maharashtra Distributors. It is iPhone 8. So it fetches the default selling rate that you've defined at the item level. Uh, so let's say the selling price is 50,000. Uh, so it has fetched the in-state GST tax template, 9% each for SGST and CGST. Now if we change the customer to an out of state customer, the tax will be updated. Uh, we see IGST 18% which, uh, which is equal to 9000 on a selling price of 50,000. Similarly, let's say for iPhone chargers, the tax rate is 12% instead of 12, instead of 18%. Uh, if you change the item, tax is auto updated you still see that rate as 18 percent but ignore that the amount is calculated correctly uh, 12 percent of thousand rupees is 120 and change the print format to gst tax signals uh, you will see that it generates a gst compliant invoice where you have gst numbers of both the parties along with the HSN code and the correct GST rate uh, based on the customer and the item. Yeah, so that's pretty much about it. This is how you automate uh, the G whole GST setup and it reduces uh, your uh, manual errors and improves efficiency and productivity. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions or if you would like to know more about our ERP implementation services. Um, visit this URL fafadiatech.com slash ERP slash system and you can email me at manan at fafadiatech.com. Thanks for watching.